Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Howell alongside Karen Garrigian. We're here at Gillette Stadium where the Patriots have finished their preparations for Sunday's AFC Championship against the Broncos. The eighth time in Tom Brady's 12 full seasons that they've gotten to the AFC title game. What a run it's been. And for the Patriots to advance to their sixth Super Bowl of the Brady era, here are three key things that they need to accomplish out in Denver. And number one, you got to confuse Peyton Manning. Make him work for it. He's going to... He's going to win his fair share of snaps. There's no question about that. But again, you got to stress him out a little bit. Mix up the coverages. Don't show what your coverage is going to be before the snap. As long as he has to think his way through those first couple seconds once the play is live, you have a fighting chance against him. And it's not always about that first or second or first 10 or 20 snaps of the game, but getting into the fourth quarter. Once you show him something a little bit different, Go back to that Week 12 game. The first time they showed man coverage, Chandler Jones got a sack. The first time they showed a cornerback blitz, Peyton Manning threw his first interception in the game. So if you can disguise and confuse him and make him work, he's mistake prone. Yeah, and as we've seen in the past, uh, Brett Belichick has, had, has been in his head a little bit on occasion. Uh, and Manning admits uh, – Belichick is one guy he's gone against that's been the best. He's had his most trouble uh, against him. If if you get Peyton thinking and, and not natural snap, here's the ball, here's the ball, uh, throwing it, if he's thinking there, you got a chance. And as you said, disguise is the, is the big thing. And also, I, I think that last game, the, the Patriots tempted uh, Manning into handing the football off. That's what they wanted him to do. They played their safeties deep. And Manning looked at the coverage, and that's what he saw, and he handed the ball off. Yes, they gained a lot of yards, but guess what? Peyton wasn't throwing the football. Number two, stay balanced. LeGarrette Blunt is on a terrific run right now, 431 yards and eight touchdowns in his last three games. The, the, the Broncos have a top 10 rush defense. Their pass defense is very porous. Their, their edge rusher, Von Miller, is gone. Their best cornerback, Chris Harris, is gone. The Patriots should be able to throw the ball, but the bottom line is stay balanced. Without question, I think if you looked at the divisional round game with San Diego in Denver, San Diego tried much too hard to run the football. They tried three quarters to run the football before they woke up and said, okay, Phillip Rivers, throw the football. And that's when they started to really move the ball. Why? Because uh, the Broncos' secondary is suspect. And when Chris Harris went down, it was almost like open season. It, they started throwing the ball much too late. Uh, the Patriots do have to have balance. Uh, and you're right, the Broncos' front is very good at stopping the run. If the Patriots all of a sudden game plan is to run, 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 and they can't run, they might be in a little bit of trouble. It, you know, it wouldn't surprise me as much as we sit here and preach balance if this was like that 2006 Vikings game when Brady throws the thing, what, the first 25 plays of the game or something like that. You know, I was talking to Willie McGinnis earlier this week, and he said, you know what, Belichick will do what the thing you least expect, watch the no huddle. Watch them come out in the no huddle and just throw it down the field 100 times. Or watch LeGarrette Blunt play the Wildcat quarterback <laughs> or something like that. Number three, don't turn the ball over. You know what, I, I think this, this Patriots team is special for a few different reasons. Uh, the, the toughness clearly is something to be admired by other teams, and, and it's a gritty team. They're playing their best football. I think they have a, a really good chance to go out in Denver and win this game. The key is don't turn the ball over. Fumbles in their first three possessions in Week 12. They, they fell to an early deficit because of that. The entire game, you're not going to see a game like that this weekend. But I think the Patriots are more efficient offensively. I think they're equipped to go out and handle this on the road. You just got to be smart with the football. If they don't turn the ball over, I think they win the game. Well, and there's no, they have no shot of coming back 24 nothing this time. Right. I mean, they don't have Rob Gronkowski. They don't have what they had to come back the last time they came back. Yeah. Uh, ball security is huge, especially now. They they can't uh, be confident up, and you know, Denver is is going to be much smarter uh, with the lead this time around. You know, they're not going to make the same mistakes that they made uh, in Foxborough seven weeks ago. They did almost cough up a weird lead last week against the Chargers, but again, I mean, it's it's so much more difficult to erase a big deficit when you're on the road. They don't have the Gillette Stadium crowd behind them, and that is fairly significant in terms of NFL momentum. So we'll see how the Patriots handle those three keys, and to follow all of our coverage through the game, you can find our work on bostonherald.com and the Blitz blog.